Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Another quick video uh, regarding the VM33 by Neostream and also one familiar face on this channel, the Yolobox Ultra. Both devices are here on my desk uh, and uh, to verify that uh, I can connect this camera to the Yolobox Ultra. I'm using two different uh, methods. The first one that I'll try is the uh, USB-C uh, mode. Uh, it's already enabled in the camera, so what I should be able to do is just connect the camera via USB-C as a normal webcam. And as you can see, I immediately uh, detect uh, the the signal which is very uh, nice in terms of quality and also with a very good latency and uh, I can use this camera this uh, directly uh, connected via USB-C. Another test that I'd like to do though is the NDI since on the Yolobox Ultra that I'm using today the NDI mode is already enabled so uh, the license has just been uh, uh, activated. Uh, what I need to do in the camera is to go on the device settings using uh, the camera app on my iPhone, disable the wired webcam mode here and ena enable the NDI mode. I will say OK for a couple of times and I press uh, on done. Now the NDI uh, is enabled in the camera so if I add a video source and I go on the NDI and wait for a couple of seconds, I should be able to uh, detect, in fact, this, this is it, the local host uh, signal VM33 from my uh, VM33. And the camera is immediately detected in the yellow box, uh, so I can use it right away. In this case, there will be a slightly higher latency, but I would say it's pretty much okay. So uh, another way of using this camera uh, together with the Yolobox uh, and uh, it's very nice because uh, in the Yolobox Ultra uh, you can use up to three cameras so you can take advantage of the whole uh, Yolobox system and also uh, in the Yolobox Pro you can use one so it can act as a um, you know another camera an external camera without having the need of connecting the camera directly to the unit because you can connect it uh, wirelessly which is something i don't suggest in you know for uh, you know for safety because a wireless uh, a wi-fi connection is not uh, really reliable especially when used outside inside like in the studio it can be okay uh, but uh, you can do this uh, connection uh, directly uh, using Ethernet. Uh, as I said in the review, uh, there's a way to connect the camera uh, with a wired connection by using some USB-C to Ethernet adapters. Uh, uh, the Opsput one, which costs less than the one uh, provided by, uh, by Neostream, uh, is working perf perfectly. So it can also deliver PoE power over Ethernet, so it is another way of powering the camera, even though, as uh, you may remember from the review uh, I made on this camera, it has a six hours battery. If you like this video and the rest of the contents on this channel, please like uh, and consider subscribing. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one.